Greetings to all of you in this special season of Advent. My dear sisters and my dear brothers, my dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you from your pastor Yeti. The passing winter. Our readings is from Stefania and Luke. First we're going to read Stefania. Chapter 3 and verse 14. People of Zion sing, Israel shout loudly. People of Jerusalem be glad. Let your hearts be full of joy. And Luke 1 verses 39 to 45. At the time Mary got ready and hurried to a town in Judea's hills country. There she entered Zechariah's home and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby inside her jumped, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she called out, God has blessed you more than other women, and blessed is the child you will have. But why is God so kind to me? Why has the mother of my Lord come to me? As soon as I heard the sound of your voice, the baby inside me jumped for joy. You are a woman God has blessed. You have believed that the Lord would keep his promises to you. The scriptures to, coming to us today is, are coming to us, I mean today is, My lover speaks, he says to me, Arise, my beloved, my dove, my beautiful one. And this you can read in the, the Songs of Songs. For see, the winter is past. The rains are over and gone. Well, it's raining here now. But anyway, it's wonderful to read this and go to it all. The flowers appear on the earth. Songs of Songs, chapter 2, verse 10 to 12. Our reflection for this day is for those who live in a wintry world with ice and snow, with darkness and frigid temperatures, what glory when spring arrives with its flowers and warmth, its light and newness. New life is in the land with fig trees producing their fruit, fruit, vine branches blooming, and sweet aromas filled the air. At times comes, I mean, if, yeah, at times winter comes upon human relationships. Whatever the cause, be it loneliness or separation or lostness, what joy when someone who loves us approach, and suddenly our hearts expand and a sense of well-being sweep through the soul. In faith, we believe that God, whose proper name is love, comes like the spring into our lives whenever we open ourselves to the grace of God. God is the lover who sees us as beautiful and as the poet Gerald Mainly Hopkins says, worthy the winning. In Mary's visitation of Elizabeth, what mutual effects we see, affection we see, these two pregnant women both attempting to deal with the mysterious working of grace, sensed that the winter of confusing and barrenness was coming to an end. Love filled the air in their exchange with one another. Love filled their wombs with light and new life. Our meditation for today is what is your experience of being grasped by God? being taken by the hand. Does the soul have its seasons, spring, summer, 
autumn, and winter. Pray with me. Gracious and loving God, help us to experience you taking us by the hand. Drive the winter out of our lives. Gift us with spring and new life. Then we will be able to give life to others and help them experience the warmth of your abiding love. I remember, my dear ones, when we did our meditation of abiding in Him, how important it is to stay close to the heart of God. And God, Jesus, who is within you, let Him love you. Blessings to all of you, my dear ones. This is your Pastor Yeti. Bye.